Find a need and fill it. Find a hurt and heal it. That, that's how 15, 16 years ago Dream Center was established. And back then we didn't know what we were doing. We just knew we were seeing needs within the community and we wanted to meet them. So that first year we pulled together 300 backpacks loaded with school supplies and they were gone within 20 minutes. To where now we give away two and a half thousand backpacks each and every year. The school district partner with us on that day. We have people lined up here at 4.30 in the morning for when the doors open at nine. And so for us, whatever we do, we're focusing on the kids and the youth and then that gets us into the home. Now today we had an event here called Promise of Hope. Promise of Hope started from a few volunteers came to me, they ganged up on me and they said, what if we had an event where girls who could not afford to go to prom because of a prom dress could come to the Dream Center and get a dress, get the accessories, get an appointment to get their hair done on the day of prom. And so we started that and today we had over a thousand dresses there where over 200 girls will come through. It's just another way that we could find a need and fill it. We have a homeless shelter here for women and children. It's the only emergency shelter here in Peoria. And from there, we take the individuals from the homeless shelter and they can then live in the village, which is a two-year program. Our success rate is if we can get people living in the village, then 89% will never go back to homelessness again. And so that's our, our goal, is to end homelessness within that family. We've been blessed with this amazing building, but we've never gone to the bank once. And it's been purely from people seeing what we're doing and saying we want to be a part of that. Individuals, churches, businesses like Ameren, Illinois, with, with this need that we've had with the Burson, being able to really see kids get here and get here safe. That's one of the main things that we love about getting a good bus that won't break down in the snow uh, to be able to really do what we do best. Uh, so we're deeply thankful for that.